China, Russia, and India are all planning to build more than 100 new power plants among them in the coming decades. Across Europe, there are 197 reactors in operation. And nations including France and Belgium derive more than half their electricity from nuclear power. And in all these nations, if they can find a way to carry out great goals in energy policy, then I sure assure you, I am confident that the United States is more than equal to the challenge. So if I'm elected president, I will set this nation on a course to building 45 new reactors by the year 2030 with the ultimate goal of 100 new plants to power the homes and factories and cities of America. This task will be as difficult as it is necessary. We will need to recover all the knowledge and skills that have been lost over three stagnant decades in a highly technical field. We'll need to solve complex problems of moving and storing materials that will always need safeguarding. We'll need to do all of these things and do them right, as we have done great things before. At the same time, we must invest more in the great task of acquiring clean coal technology. Coal is a strategic national resource and today provides most of our nation's electricity and about 85 percent here in Missouri. Burning coal cleanly is a challenge of practical problem solving and human ingenuity and we have no shortage of those in this country. Perhaps no advancement in energy technology could mean more to America than the clean burning of coal and the capture and storage of carbon emissions. And to this end, as President, I will commit $2 billion each year on clean coal research and development. We will build the demonstration plants, refine the techniques and equipment, and make clean coal a reality. This single achievement will open vast amounts of our oldest and most abundant resource, and it will deliver not only electricity, but jobs to some of the areas hardest hit by our economic troubles. The good that clean coal can do extends around the world and into its skies. Once we supply the means of clean burning coal and carbon capture, nations everywhere will pursue the same end, abundant energy with low carbon emissions. China in particular has enormous coal reserves that could power its continued economic growth cleanly and efficiently. And by mastering the technology, America will lead the way. In the progress of other alternative energy sources such as wind, solar, geothermal, tide, and hydroelectric, government must be an ally but not an arbiter. In less than a generation, wind power alone could account for a fifth or more of all of our electricity. And just in recent memory, solar energy has gone from a novelty to a fast-growing industry. I voted against the current patchwork of tax credits for renewable power because they were temporary and often the result of who had the best lobbyists instead of who had the best ideas. But the objective itself was right and urgent. And when I'm signing laws, Instead of casting one of a hundred votes, I intend to see that objective better served. We will reform this effort so it is fair, rational, and permanent, letting the market decide which ideas can move us towards clean and renewable energy. We Americans like to say that there's no problem we can't solve, however complicated. No obstacle we cannot overcome if we meet it together. I believe this about our country. I know this about our country. And now it's time to show those qualities once again. 